Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I've fallen down a little bit of a typewriter hole, if you will. I love typewriter art, and that is art using typewriters and the keys and the lettering they do on them to create beautiful images. If you guys want to see some beautiful typewriter art, check out James Cook on Instagram and on YouTube. His pieces are amazing, and he's been featured on a lot of talk shows and TV shows as well with his artwork. But I'm so inspired by his pieces, and I am so not artistic. But I did find an app while I was looking for typewriter apps that lets you make typewriter art. And I wanted to see if I could create pieces on that app and then create those pieces again on a typewriter. So the goal of the app is to hold your finger down on the screen until you hit that red line. And as you go, it'll actually put in place marker type letters so you can build a shape by the end of it. So the ones we're going to try are the bunny, the typewriter cat, which I've made here before. And then we're also going to try the birthday cake or based on their spelling, the birthday cake. Let's try making the bunny first. I'm gonna start with the parentheses. Off to a great start. And then it's a backslash. Guess what this typewriter doesn't have. But there are no backslash for the ears. So I am going to turn this upside down to see if I can get that slash to go backwards. No, it's still going the wrong way. <laughs> Ooh, I can make his ears face the other way and then I won't have that problem. Okay, let's try that. I think that works. It kind of looks like a bunny. Okay, now let's try the typewriter cat, which I'm not gonna do it the way they say to do it because I don't have backslashes that go both ways. I don't know why they thought a typewriter would have that. It doesn't, but your computer does. So let's try this the way I know how to do it, which is by starting with upside down beats. So if you put in two upside down Vs with a dash in the middle, it'll make your cat ears. And then when you put your paper in the other way, it'll actually be right side up. Parentheses, nope, I messed up. Crap. Let's give myself a couple of these and try this again. What I'm finding is that I can't get both the whiskers and the eyes in the same amount of space as I have with the ears. Maybe if I place the ears farther apart, I'd be able to get them. It's kind of close. I don't know how you get it so that the cat's paws are within the cat's face because they're not the same size because you're adding bigger letters in between. I don't understand. And then big paws. It's a mountain cat. I actually feel like the bunny was easier once I figured out how to do the ears. These ones just look bad and I can't make them look like the ones in the app because the keys literally don't exist that are on the app. Um, but you are able to do the, the upside down V trick for the ears and I highly suggest you watch my typewriter earrings video to see how to do that because that works way better. Finally, we have the birthday cake or birthday cake as they spell it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we make a parentheses. Dash, oh no, it's like a, a noodley thing. 13. That wasn't too bad. Parentheses. Birthday's a bigger word, so I'm just gonna fill up that whole space with birthday. That kind of works. So experiment over, and we tried it, and I'm definitely not any better at art than when I started. But I do find that I can take some inspiration from using the app and apply it to the typewriter. There are some obvious differences between using the app and applying it to your actual typewriter. A couple of those being that your phone keyboard and the one that they have integrated for your typewriter in the app have different letters and keys than you might actually have on your typewriter. For example, they have a backslash and a forward slash in the typewriter app keyboard, but I don't have that on my actual typewriter. So I had to come up with ways to figure out how to make that work on the actual typewriter when I was doing that. Additionally, the app makes it look easy to line up everything right under each other and makes the spacing look perfect, but realistically, it's kind of hard to line up everything under each other on your typewriter, especially if you're not 
right on the margin line, which you could have done for some of the edges, but for something like the birthday cake, where your first line and your second line have to be in line with each other, and then the next lines after those are further out, you might not be able to be right on the margin in order to achieve that like straight line look where everything is in a row. Typewriter art is really fascinating, and I've included some links for you guys in the description of this video with some extra resources regarding typewriter art, so you can check those out. But if you want to take inspiration from this app and then apply it to your typewriter, I think you might have a more successful time and get some ideas for how to utilize typewriter art in your own typewriter collection. For example, I never would have thought of making a birthday cake using the keys of the typewriter, but because I was able to look at the app and figure out kind of how to do that, I might be able to utilize that in a pen pal letter or a card to a friend on their birthday. Maybe not as applicable as some normal typing techniques, but definitely something interesting to try. If you guys are interested in more typewriter content, we have a myriad of videos on this channel which you can check out, including more crafts, type tests, tearing apart things, all sort of content related to typewriters here on this channel. And we also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter where I show you a little bit more of my collection and a little bit more of what it's like to be a daily typewriter collector. And I thank you so much for watching today and remind you that you're just my type, writer.